will see a pay increase that is generally equivalent to their increased pension contributions. While these employees have taken significant pay cuts in these tough economic times, this will be the first pay increase that these employees will have seen in five years. These agreements will expire in 2013 and will result in approximately $528 million in current year savings. I have numerous individuals, witnesses here to speak to this measure as well as to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Witnesses in support. Good afternoon, Chair and Senators. My name is Tom Dyer, representing the Department of Personnel Administration. We're a sponsor of this bill. We urge your I vote. Thank you, and I'm available for any questions that may come up. Thank you. Anybody else in support of the bill? Craig Brown for the California Correctional Peace Officers Association of the California Statewide Law Enforcement Association, bargaining unit six and seven. We worked long and hard for these contracts. We think they meet the state's financial goals, and we urge your support. Thank you. Uh, Bruce Planning with Professional Engineers and California Government, representing unit nine, and we also are in support of the bill. Thank you. Janice Norman on behalf of the American Federation of State County Municipal Employees for the reasons already stated in support of the bill. Uh, Brooks Ellison on behalf of Case California Attorneys, Administrative Law Judges and Hearing Officers on State Employment, Bargaining Unit 2 in support of the bill. Chris Voigt for CAPS, California Association for Professional Scientists, 2,800 hardworking scientists for the state here in support of the bill. Tim Kremens, Operating Engineers representing Bargaining Unit 13 in full support. Thank you. Anyone else in support? Is there any opposition to the bill? Question from the members? Hearing none, would you like to close? Ask for an I vote. Thank you. Please call the roll. Oh, we don't have a quorum. So we'll, we'll do that. You have another bill, Mr. Correa? Yes, ma'am. SB 203. Yes, um, Madam Chair and, and Senators, uh, this bill reforms the process for filling vacancies on boards of retirement and boards of investment in counties operating retirement systems under the 1937 Act. Uh, there's nothing in the current statute that requires the board of retirement to move ex expeditiously to fill vacancies in elected board positions. Here today to testify on behalf of the bill and to answer any questions you may have is Art Goulet, representing the California Retired County Employees Association. Madam Chair, Senators, uh, this bill has several goals. Uh, one is to improve the governance of, of the county retirement systems, and the other is to save money. Uh, with respect to the govern governance, uh, it's our belief that there needs to be a full complement of members of the board in order to make meaningful and prudent decisions. And if there are vacancies, you don't have that opportunity, uh, which is why we think there needs to be expeditious filling of vacancies. Uh, and the other is that we believe that alternate members of the board need to be fully conversant in all of the issues that are discussed by the board so that when they are called upon to, to vote, they know what they're voting about. Uh, otherwise, they may make an uninformed decision. And then we've set it up so that uh, if there's a vacancy in the alternate retired member position, it doesn't need to be an election. Elections cost money. Uh, and then also, if there's a short term remaining in one of the other elected member positions, there would be a single election to fill the remainder of the term and the succeeding term, again, to save money. Uh, and I'd also like to point one thing out, if I may. On page two of the analysis, the last paragraph is no longer in the bill. Uh, that was stricken a couple of years ago, actually, at the insistence of then Senator Ashburn. He, he did not think that the state should be telling uh, counties what they should do. Thank you. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Anyone else in support of the bill? Is there any opposition to the bill? Would you care to close? Ask for an I vote. Okay, and we will do that as soon as we have a quorum. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Senators. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Senator Hernandez, you have SB 39. 
eight. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and members. Uh, SB 398 will provide technical cleanup to existing law by clarifying the definition of a placement agent and Mr. Hernandez, would external you manager. A second, we have a sure. form. Negrady McLeod? Here. Negrady McLeod? Here. Walters? Here. Walters here. Gaines? Here. Gaines here. Padilla? Vargas? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there is some ambiguity uh, surrounding a bill that I previously authored last year, which was AB 1743, which ensured the regulation and identification of individuals soliciting investments for external managers. Uh, existing law could be interpreted to include all broker dealers engaged in general and primary securities transactions with state retirement systems. Uh, AB 1743 never intended to cover the routine trading and sales of securities. The bill before you today will provide this necessary cleanup. Uh, this bill has no opposition and is supported by the Security Industry and Financing Market Association, SIFMA, who is here today to testify and answer any questions that you may ask. Uh, um, Thank you. Madam Chair. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and members. Joanne Betancourt representing the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association here to uh, support the bill. As the Senator uh, previously, previously mentioned, um, these are technical and clarifying amendments. Um, and because the law became in effect on January 1st, because of the confusion and the interpretation or possible interpretation, over 300 plus securities professionals have registered as lobbyists. This clearly, clearly wasn't the intent. And so we are very supportive of the bill and we thank the Senator and the sponsors for uh, working with us to clear up the ambiguities. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else in support of the bill? Uh, Danny Brown on behalf of CalPERS. Uh, we are also in support of making these clarifying technical changes. Anyone else? Tanya Sayed from the State Treasurer's Office. We're also in support of this bill. Thank you. Anybody else? Is there anyone in opposition to the bill? Are there any questions from the members? Comment. Yes. Uh, I just last year I remember this bill and um, I laid off of the bill for those very reasons. So I'm glad to see that you've brought it back with um, the, the changes. So I'll be supporting it. Okay. Oh, I'm sure you listen to me all the time. Okay. Would, you, <laughs> would you care to close, Mr. Mr. Hernandez? I respectfully ask for an I vote, Madam Thank Chair you. members. Thank you. Uh, would you please call for the vote? Negrady McLeod. Aye. Negrady McLeod. Aye. Walters. Aye. Walters. Aye. Gaines. Aye. Gaines. Aye. Padilla. Vargas. Aye. Vargas. Aye. Okay. We have um, two other bills that are on call. Well, that we haven't had a, a motion yet. So we have a SB 151, SB 203. Could I have the bills moved? So moved. So moved. So moved. Okay. We have two Korea bills. SB 151. State Employees Memorandum of Understanding. Could it call for the vote? Negrady McLeod? Aye. Negrady McLeod? Aye. Walters? No. Walters? No. Gaines? No. Gaines? No. Padilla? Vargas? Aye. Vargas? Aye. Okay. We'll aye. leave that open until we have Mr. Padilla to come in. Uh, SB 203? So um, moved. So moved. Okay. Negrady McLeod? Aye. Negrady McLeod? Aye. Walters? Aye. Walters? Aye. Gaines? Aye. Gaines? Aye. Padilla? Vargas? Aye. Vargas? Aye. Okay. And I have a bill, SB 609. Good afternoon, Hi. Madam Chair. I'm here to present 609. And um, my name is Marcy Burnett. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Go ahead. When an employee organization, Madam Chair and, and members, when an employee organization files a representation petition with the Public Employees Relation Board that shows a majority of employees in the unit seek to be represented, 
The employer must grant recognition unless the employer raises a dispute, such as appropriateness of the proposed bargaining unit, in which case an administrative law judge must conduct a formal investigation or hearing and issue a written termination. The losing party may then submit an appeal to the board. The same process applies to other types of representation petitions when a dispute is raised by the employer or the employee organization. When a dispute is raised, it results in a delay that may be substantial, substantial, and especially when an appeal is filed. Substantial. Okay. SB 609 seeks to prevent prejudicial delay of representation matters pending appeal to the Public Employment Relations Board. I well, okay, and I have with me uh, here witnesses. Witnesses in support? No. <laughs> um, my name is Marcy Berman, and I'm here on behalf of the California Teamsters Public Affairs Council, um, a sponsor of the bill. And I'm here to answer any questions and also just to explain very briefly what, what the point of the bill is. It's, it's, um, there are a lot of points along the way that create delay, some of which would require uh, spending in order to hire more staff because PERB is grossly understaffed. What we're proposing is something that would actually save the state money because uh, the board itself is not overworked and um, requiring them to make a decision within 180 days or else have the hearing officer's decision be the final one would actually remove some of their workload and it wouldn't require any additional spending. So, and it would also really work to the advantage of all parties because everybody has an interest in getting these things resolved expeditiously. Madam Chair and members, Caitlin Vega for the California Labor Federation. We think that this bill is important to protecting the right to representation. If workers are subject to endless delays, and in some cases we are used to seeing delays of up to two years, waiting to find out um, the results uh, of an appeal, and during that period there's uncertainty for both parties, all of the uh, kind of enthusiasm that arises during a union organizing drive, um, dissipates as workers wait and wait on, on seemingly endless appeals. And so we think that this bill um, really respects workers' right to, uh, to choose representation by ensuring that if the PERB fails to act, um, the order will be deemed granted. Okay, are there witnesses in support? Witnesses in opposition? Comments from the committee? Questions? Could you explain to me, um, in these particular cases, um, why PERB is not reacting? Why, why aren't they? Why aren't these being heard with within a timely manner? My witness here will answer. That's a really good question. I don't know. Um, as I said, I know that PERB is understaffed. So, at various other points before it gets to the board, I could understand why there would be a delay. At the point at which the board and the board staff has something in their inbox, I'm not sure why there would need to be a delay. Okay, I, I, I don't guess have a good from answer. my perspective, I, that would be my focus is, uh, if PERP is not working properly, what do we need to do to make sure it's operating in, a, in, a, in the right fashion so that you, we can get timely decisions on appeals? Right, well, I think that's the idea here, is that they know that if they don't, um, if they don't make their opinion known within a certain amount of time, then the opportunity is gone. I think that might be a good incentive well, for that. that. Yeah. Another approach would be how do we operate more efficiently within the department uh, and focus our legislation on that. But thank you. Do I have a, um, so do we have a motion? Uh, uh, please call the roll. Negrady McLeod? Aye. Negrady McLeod? Aye. Walters? No. Walters? No. Gaines? No. Gaines? No. Padilla? Aye. Padilla? Aye. Vargas? Aye. Vargas? Aye. Uh, that bills out three to two, and I believe we're going to do the consent calendar. Item number five, SB 373. Item number six, SB 503. Item number seven, SB 637. Negrady McLeod? Aye. Negrady McLeod, aye. Walters? Aye. Walters, aye. Gaines? Aye. Gaines, aye. Padilla? Aye. Padilla, aye. Vargas? Aye. Vargas, aye. Item number one, 
SB 153, excuse me, 151 Padilla. Aye. Padilla, I. Item number two, SB 203, Padilla. Aye. Padilla, I. Item number three, SB 398, Padilla. Aye. Padilla, I. Okay, all the bills are out. Thank you very much. Thank you, members, for such an expedition. Speedy and steady here.